Take your CJ7 all the way to 11. Jeepers with cool guys. So let's take the grill apart. Here's what we took off the Jeep. And that's what it's going to be replaced with. A lot less rust. We're going to take off the housing pieces, the light housing pieces right here. Then we'll take off the hood latch, which consists of three bolts. Then pull out our bumpers and the air vent on the back, and then we should be good to go. Actually, four screws. And at that point, the housing just comes right out. Nice and easy. There's a little spring that you need to finalize, a piece of plastic that we'll have to clean up. I did want to point out, now that I've taken both of these out, that they're the exact same. They both have the same cut, line up the exact same way, so you don't have to be concerned about whether one's left and one's right. The only thing you need to do is make sure that you replace or mark the amount of screws that go into it. Now we're going to take out the hood latch. It consists of three bolt screws at the top. Once those come out, the whole thing will drop right out through the bottom. This is a 7 16th inch screw with uh, an attached washer. And there you have your hood latch. Last thing to do for me, last two things, is you, well, you want to make sure that you take out your bumpers, your rubber bumpers. These get really hard and brittle with time, so you probably will have to replace these. I've already done that. I just need to pop them out, and that's simply just pulling them out through the back, just like that, nice and easy. The best way to do it is to kind of turn it as you pull it so you just don't separate and break the metal or the rubber off. And then all we need to do is take this off. This air vent, this goes into your air cleaner and you've got the um, accordion type air vent that runs into this. Um, mine hasn't been on there for a long time. One of the screws has been taken out. I think that might have been part of the ground screws from the previous removal of the grill. This is a 5 16 inch screw, and then you have your air vent cowl, or gasket if you want to call it. And at that point, you've pretty much taken apart your whole grill. Uh, you can sandblast it, renovate it, do whatever you want with it. This one's going to become a piece of wall decor.